Alright, everybody. Welcome back to some more Umi Nako when they cry. Now, last time we had Lambda Delta showing up and uh, she tried to convince Angie, Ushiromi Angie, to join her side in trying to. Cause the game between Battle and Beto to lead to a draw forever. Basically, that's that's their goal now. I mean, that's Lambda's goal, and she's trying to convince. Or at least that's what she says is her goal, and she's trying to convince Angie to join her side because Angie doesn't win if she wins with Battle, right? The Angie, the six-year-old Angie wins, but the eighteen-year-old Angie that's actually fighting doesn't win. She just goes back to her own world and loses. So, yeah, and Lambda's trying to claim that Burn tricked her. How much of what Lambda's saying is true or not, I don't know. But I do, I, I, well, I can't say this. Um, um, welcome back. That's the recap of last part. I'm very glad to be back for Umineko, considering, um, because Today, today, today we had a One Piece chapter, and the One Piece chapter was not great, I'll be completely honest. Chapter 1057 of One Piece was not good. It marks the end of the Wano arc, which is, thank goodness by the way, it's by far the longest arc in One Piece. It's 149 chapters long. That's longer than entire mangas. That's an, that whole arc. Finally it's over, after 4 years, over 4 years of seeing this every week, this arc is finally over. Wano arc is finally over. We get to move on to the final saga. And this last chapter of the last, you know, the last chapter of, of, the, of the arc of Wano was not great. It was not. I, I, I feel like I got blue balled. I, I, it wasn't great. It did not give a great message. I'll, I'll be honest. And I'll be honest. I'll be honest. Guys, with things that I love, I'll, I'm honest if I didn't like them. If I didn't like something about it. And I'll be honest, this chapter I didn't like. And I'll be doing the same thing with Umineko. Trust me, I'm really liking Umineko. If there's something I don't like, I'll let you guys know. So far, there hasn't been much to not like. And I feel like a lot of it is because I'm lacking context to a lot of things. I mean, I'm not really understanding how the story is going just yet. You know what I mean? I don't want to criticize something if it's going to be explained more in depth later on. You know what I mean? Then I'll look very shallow. So that's why I haven't said anything bad about Umineko just yet. I, I, you guys have probably not heard me talk bad about Umineko or anything like that just yet. Uh, I probably will after I'm done with episode 4 because I'm going to make a whole video about it. About talking about Umineko and all that. Uh, and, and my thoughts and stuff. So, uh, but, but that'll be after episode 4 is over. But I'm, I, I'm, I'm, I'm an honest person. I, I don't, I'm not going to lie to you. I've never, I've never lied to you guys. Okay? When I think something is good, I'm honest about it. When I think something is bad, I'll be honest about it. Okay? And this is One Piece. I'm bi I'm extremely biased towards One Piece. And I and I hate saying when it, there are times it's not good. But I, I am truthful. I my heart does not lie. Alright? Because I have love for One Piece, I see the truth. Because with love, I see it. This chapter was an L. It was not great. I, I did not like the message it gave. I did not like what it was what it what it did with a certain character. I did not like it. And it's been set up for so long. And I'm actually kinda distraught by that. I mean I've just been all day I've just been thinking about the chapter, just like, oh my god, I can't believe it. Why did it happen? One is finally over though. We're finally going to the fi fin final saga. One Piece is ending soon, god damn it. Holy crap. So I'm here reading Umineko. And the reason why I'm reading Umineko is because finally... Because I, I just need to read something good. <laughs> After all this chapter, I just needed... I needed to read something that I know is good. I, I, or hopefully. I hope this, what we're gonna be reading today is good. Because I, I need it. I need it, okay? I need to read something that's, that's gonna make me happy. Cause, cause this uh, one piece chapter hit me hard. Okay, it hit me hard. I, I, I did not like it. Okay, 
Last chapter was so good. Top 56. Oh, you know, I'll shut up. I'll shut up. This is what Imineko video. Let's shut up. All right. Imineko time. All right. So, uh, I do want you guys to say in the comments. I mean, unless it's explained the visual novel. What's going on with the timelines? Because Amakusa and Angie were apparently running from, from Kasumi. And then all of a sudden, Angie just practices magic with Maria. She just found the time to do that. She, she was reading the book and found the time to practice with Maria. What's that about? And now all of a sudden we're here with Leviathan. So I want you guys to explain the timeline unless it's explained here. Is this 1998 still? You know what I mean? Because cause last part we end, it ended off with, between Angie and Lambda. So, and now we've seen Leviathan. Is this Maria and Angie still practicing using the seven stakes? Is this in 1998 still? Is this is uh, is she still running off away from the Sumodera family, or is it or is it good to explain? If it's good to explain, then yeah, of course, shut up, don't say anything. <laughs> I do not want something to be revealed that I is, that, you know. But if it's something that I've misunderstood, then yeah, tell me. Uh, so yeah, uh, I do also want to say that I uh, I got a haircut and I'm, dude, I'm I'm looking so good. I haven't gotten a haircut in a while, but I'm looking so good. I've n I've got myself a fade. I've never gotten myself a fit in my entire life. I look so good. Tomorrow, by the way, is my first semester day, right? It's when I finally get get on. Um, so I'll be meeting all my classmates from last semester, or last year, because uh, I'm not, now entering the second year of uh, university. Um, and bro, I, I can't wait. I say I can't wait. I mean, I, 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 I'm interested in seeing, seeing the reaction to, to how I look like now because I look vastly different than what I did uh, a couple months ago when they last saw me. So when, when I was recording episode 2 I think with you guys, I had an afro back then, I had a, a lot of hair, alright? That took me years to grow, it took me years, like a long time. And then I finally cut it off and now I recently got a haircut again. So now all my classmates from a couple months ago are going to be seeing me, they're going to be looking at me, yo, Amin looks different. Now, of course, you guys can't see my face. I don't record my face when I record these videos. Although, I wouldn't be against doing that, actually. Uh, but I don't have the setup to do it. But if I ever get the YouTube budget to do it someday... Hey, I'll tell you guys this. If I ever get to the point where... You know what? I'll, 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 actually, I won't, I won't say that. I'll, I'll, I'll leave that out. I'll leave that out. But uh, if I ever get the budget, I'm down to put a face cam so you guys can see my facial reaction to different you know, to, uh, to different things. Probably not Imineko. I'm probably going to be finished reading Imineko by the time I get the budget to buy a face cam or anything like that but I'm actually down to to to, to face cam reactions and so you guys can see my face because I my face I I know I got some crazy reactions on my face I know I do people always comment on how freaky of a face I, I have sometimes or when I'm shocked like my face goes ah! and people always li like to comment on that so uh, <laughs> I, I think it would be I think it would uh, be a nice addition and especially with a visual novel it would work so well because a visual novel you have characters and then it's all about the text so I can I can easily put a face cam in the top left corner or something here where I'm talking you guys can see me talking that would be great but uh, oh well I don't I don't have the setup to do that just yet I don't even have a proper editing software to make that happen so I am I'm kind of working on low low budget uh, <laughs> reading here but yeah so I got a haircut I've also to earlier today well the haircut I got yesterday but today I also you know uh, trim my beard and my mustache. Trim my mustache was hard. For some reason, I cut myself three different times. <laughs> it doesn't hurt that much. It doesn't really hurt. Uh, but it's just like my up, my upper lip, like above my upper lip, right, like where my mustache is. I got like red marks because it's like I got a, I got cut from the from like uh, from from you know from shaving. I shaved my mustache and I shaved my beard. Shaved my beard co well, completely fine. No cuts. Shave would be just easy, but it seems like your upper lip, uh, yeah, like above your upper lip, very sensitive skin, very sensitive, bro. All right, this might be the last time I straight up save, shave my mustache. All right, like that, that hurt, bro. That hurt. Like, why the hell am I getting these cuts? So yeah, I'm, I'm done. I'm not shaving my mustache anymore, bro. Th thankfully, I'm not even. I don't even grow a lot of mustache hair. I don't know why I did that. I didn't even need to do that. I barely had mustache. I, I barely had a mustache. It's my beard that's growing a lot. I'm growing a, a, a lot of beard, and that's not. You know, 
that's not something that was happening. I mean, two years ago, three years ago, I was not growing a beard. All of a sudden, I am now. So now that I'm an, a young adult, I'm actually growing a beard, and it's I have to shave it. So you know, I'm I'm done. I'm done. I, I'll I'll just let the beard grow at this point. I can't be bothered, bro. Why do people shave their beard? I mean, some people look better with without beard, but I, me, but I, I'm I'm done shaving beard. It's such a it's such a hassle. It's not really that much of a hassle. It takes like ten minutes. <laughs> it does take only like ten minutes. But I mean, if I'm gonna I'll, I'll let my mustache go at least, because I don't get cut in my beard, but I get cuts above my upper lip. So you know, I've learned my lesson. I'm, I'm never shaving my mustache ever again. All right, I've learned my lesson. I, I don't want, because when I wash my face, it hurts, uh, in right under my nose. What's that about? I don't. I, you know, I'm done. I'm done. All right, I'll, I'll let my mustache grow. Besides, it's not really. It's like it's growing a lot anyway. You know what I mean? So I'll, I'll, I'll let my mustache grow. But I can shave my beard, I guess. I don't know. I don't you know. I, I, I was actually planning to grow up my beard to see how it would look like. At one point, I know I'm going to do that. Because I, I let my, uh, my my hair grow to see how my hair would look like once, once I grew it out. Now, I'm going to let my mustache, uh, my, my beard grow to see how my beard looks like when it grows. Uh, but I probably have to give it a, a year at least uh, before it grows properly. Um, I mean, in a month, it grows enough to the point where you can s s clearly see the beard. But a year is how long it will take to till it properly forms, and then I'll probably have to shave it on the side so that I can... Whatever! Ah! Mineko! I'm talking freaking nonsense. I mean, I, I just... Alright, let's get to Mineko. I've talked, I've bab babbled for long enough. I, I need something to clear my headspace of what the One Piece chapter did for me this week, because that was not good. Here we go. Whoo! Alright. Like a ton. That's my give it back. What's up? Beals above an asphalt, okay. <laughs> so I'm guessing we're gonna see Muddy and uh, Angie here real soon. Where are they, by the way? I'm guessing they're in some big city, in some place where Angie's living, right? Maybe close to some expensive hotel. Is she still on the run with Amakusa? I don't really know. I don't know what's going on here. I don't know the context, but this is the start of the, chap the, the chapter, yeah, so. I wonder where they swiped it from. They were fighting over a donut or something, playing around really loudly. Okay, so this is Angie. Kora! Satan. Okay, so she's reading, meaning she's, she's, she can... Um, she's practicing magic and, I guess, com through that, communicating with Maria. By now, I was used to the fights between the eldest and the third eldest sister. It's a bit funny how they're both a little hesitant even though they're so quick to anger. <laughs> uh, they might be surprisingly similar. I mean, yeah, pride and wrath. They, they, they go hand in hand in my opinion. They kind of do. Oh, Belfigur, that's my favorite. Let's go. Let's go, Sloth. Of course, you'd want to lower the volume. Freaking. I want to say, um, is Angie now capable of, of maintaining all seven? Has she grown her magic power that much? I thought it would take years for her to be able to grow this much. I, well, I, that's what I thought based on her discussion with Maria. Oh, she's happy. Angie's <laughs> okay, just a thirst for everything. If you know what I mean. Alright, alright, whatever. Right, I'll leave it there, I'll leave it there. Right, pause, pause. My bad, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad, I'm sorry! Tadashi, Doksen Stagarno de Homo Atairu to Hitoni Yomase Maito, Doksogoni Yaiteshimakotomo Arno de Gochuyo. That's crazy. That's, that's, she should be the sin of spite. <laughs> that does make sense. Oh, 
So you're like, you're greedy, but you're also like a snob. <laughs> Again, I don't think greedy is an entirely negative thing. You know what I mean? If, it, if being greedy means that you are going to study and practice because you want to be better than other people, uh, sure, the mentality may be a bit iffy, but at least you're doing it, you know? At least you're not, like, sloth. <coughs> nah, I love you, sloth. I love that figure. Uh, at least, you know, you're doing it, you're working towards something, you know? Greed doesn't have to be a bad thing. It can be a good, like, motivation kind of thing. As someone said that, her eyes sparkling, she stared transfixed at the open page, reading through it again. You could see the greed that made her even more intent than me on devouring the, that page. As you can see, my magical power was now much stronger compared to the first day I summoned them. I was now at the point where I could summon all of the seven sisters of purgatory at once and still calmly read a book like this. Yeah, so your magic has grown a lot. Ooh. This place, although I couldn't recall where it was, was a quiet and calm street side bench. Street side bench. Okay, you couldn't recall where it was. And you're not on the run from the Sumadera family? And you're are you not talking with Maria now? You're just practicing on your own? Ah, I guess that's fine. No Sokutaro either. The reason that I couldn't remember the location of this place was that at the time I visited it, I was very young. What? But you're here now, aren't you? Or what what's up? Or is this a memory? Is this place a Oh, is this like a, a, the vast a vast space you envisioned in your mind from a memory? So you're still in the hotel room with Am Amakusa or something? I don't, I don't really know the timeline on what's happening here. Still, I remember the day we dwelt here and how much fun it was. Mom, Dad, and even Onichan had been there. It was a memory of a very rare and happy, a very happy day when all the family had actually been together. The people walking by every once in a while weren't noticing me. They were just pleasantly ignoring me and passing by as normal. I wasn't even the slightest bit embarrassed by the Seven Sisters' shameless outfits. Because it wasn't like they were actually being seen by anyone. It's, I guess that's true. If they were actually being seen by people, then yeah, they're, they're outfits, y'all. SHAMELESS OUTFITS! <laughs> In fact, I'd gotten pretty used to them. Just so long as they didn't make me wear one. Yeah, I mean, you're not one of the seven sisters. You're good, Angie. You can you can use whatever dressing code, dress code you want. <laughs> I was sitting on a stylish bench, memorizing a timeline for world history. Okay. World history. In an academy system. Oh! Is she studying? Oh, she's studying for school. So she's not studying magic, magic right now. She's just studying for school. Uh, in an academy system where everything is based on collective responsibility, there's no tolerance for dunces, right? It seemed that I was lowering the average grade for the class considerably. According to the, those extremely intellectual girls, if I alone improve my grade, the average would rise drastically. They had been kind enough to show me with a graph drawn with colorful pants on a B4 sheet of drawing paper. Right, with a graph. Okay. <laughs> On a B4 sheet of drawing paper. Ooh, wait. B4. Let me think about it. Isn't... Actually, I don't know how big a B4 sheet of paper is. I only know... I only know, like, A1, A2, A3, and A4. A4 being, like, the standard, right? I don't know how big a B4... I'm, I guess the B4 is bigger. Because it's... Why would a B4 be smaller than an A4? That makes no sense, and they show in a small picture. So it's probably a, a beautiful graph, right? Right, whatever. I could, yeah. Whatever. Just thinking of the effort it must have taken to draw that was nause nauseating. But I'd already spat out all those complaints. I'd already used those girls to vent all my fears, anger, and sadness. You mean the seven sisters, right? The seven stakes? Those girls? Is, what, is that what you're talking about? The vent your angers and frustration and sadness? The Seven Sisters oh yeah. were sometimes outraged, sometimes compassionate, and sometimes shared in my sorrows. 
I was truly happy to have friends with whom I could share with those emotions. It's, sa it's said that they were originally furniture that existed to carry out Beatrice's cruel sacrificial ritual. If that sickening occult message bottle was to be believed, it seemed that several among them even attacked my family. It's true! Good point! I didn't think of that! Yeah, they, 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 they helped kill your family! You're just gonna be friends with the k k killers of your family? The prick? Although, you can also argue that they're just doing what they were ordered to, and it's not, it's not really, they're not actually bad people. But then, at the same time, it would be, if you, I don't know. But then, yeah, uh, they are furniture. I don't know. And if you forgive them, yeah, it's up to you. I'm, I'm supposed to not believe they, they even exist, so it's up to you, Angie. <laughs> But I didn't believe that, and it would be pointless to question them about it. I guess so. They're furnishers, so all they do is respond to their master's requests. Even if they really had attacked my family, I couldn't hate them. Okie dokie. The one I really hated was the girl- I agree! Was the golden witch Beatrice, I agree. She's the one that really sucks. Or else the one at the very center of Rockinjima. Rockinjima Gate, Aunt Eva. I understand why you hate her. I understand why Eva- did what she did. I can see what she, she came to that. I don't agree with what she did, but I understand it. Beato, I don't understand it. She's just a psychopath. She sucks. <laughs> World history. That's what she's reading, right? <sighs> Tired? Mind if I take a break? Asoba! When they noticed that I had interrupted my studying, the most energetic youngest sisters gathered around me. Here there comes Philzebub and Asmodeus! <laughs> that wasn't all. Lucifer? Maria! Sakutaro, they showing up as well? Even Mario Nature and Sakutaro showed themselves, okay. They have probably been very close by, but they must have hid themselves so that they didn't interrupt my studying. Oh. お勉強どう。お勉強どう。元気。元気。ちょっと。私にも。元気。<笑> <laughs> I love her voice, man. I don't, I don't know. That, that's, that's one of the biggest reasons why I like her so much. Also because her design is, is my favorite out of the sisters. さくたらもみんなに会えて喜んでるよ。どう、エンジェ。お勉強の調子はありがとう。まあ、そこそこには。とりあえず年表を頭に入れるだけでも what I really find interesting is Angie seems to have changed her mind about her classmates. She's saying their beautiful sense of solidarity is enough to bring tears to my eyes. It seems she's, she's saying that sincerely, and that to me is very interesting. As if Maria's mindset to think about things positively has affected her too. She's starting to think that, hey, the girls are actually, are actually helping me out. They're, you know, like, the, remember the class pre president, you know, telling her to do better or whatever? Uh, like, maybe she started thinking, you know, maybe she, they are actually trying to help me. You know what I mean? She's, maybe she's, she saw it the wrong way. I don't know. I mean, no doubt some bullying is involved, but... Uh, 
that's that's interesting. Maybe well, maybe just her mindset has changed, and the bullying is still there. Who knows? Or maybe I don't know. お勉強は全然ダメだったからちゃんと勉強すれば点数が取れる演じが羨ましいよ。ご冗談を英語ラテン語オカルトの知識。She the fact that she knows English, Latin, knowledge of the occult, which again means a good chunk of Greek, right? Because, I mean, at least the occult of Ishimi Mineko, a, a lot of it is Greek. So she knows Greek, which I guess is kind of tied to Latin, and so I guess, whatever, but still, very impressive from Maria. That's true. And to me, it just furthers my point of what I think of um, people in general. I think, I think just because someone isn't book smart, or isn't academically gifted doesn't mean that this that person isn't smart at all or isn't gifted at all you know what I mean I think people should pursue what makes them happy all right like like I, I know you know that in the big fields people go oh you, you study to be a medical student or be an engineer that that's what I'm doing but that's because that's what I like that's what I you know enjoy doing that's what I that's you know I enjoy working with math and, you know, not just mathematics, but just science and and technology. I enjoy finding technological, uh, working with technological things, you know what I mean? Like, seeing the way, you know, that sort of thing works, right? As you, that's, that's the sort of engineering work, or at least, I'm still a student, I'm still obviously not. A proper I would not come up a proper engineer at all I'm still you know this semester I'm still going to be taking I'm still going to learn about a lot about how you know electricity works and uh, you know how we can design de you know design whatever a lot of different things of course I'm gonna be learning all of that but that's because I'm interested in those and just because someone isn't academically gifted like that I mean I say I, I say that but I mean Academically gifted at the same time, that's just because I enjoy doing it. I feel like if you enjoy doing something, you're going to be gifted at it. You're going to work towards it and become good at it. I think you can become good at whatever makes you, like, whatever you think is fun. You know what I mean? I know people that, 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 that think math is the worst thing ever. It's the most boring, worst thing they can ever think of. And I know Maria doesn't like that. Maria doesn't like... Math, I'm pretty sure she didn't like a lot of schoolwork. She can't get great, uh, great grades. Um, but I think there's so much more to life than getting great grades in school. I feel like in a lot of, in some ways, school is a scam that way. I, and I say that. I say, you know, it's easy for me to have said that if I wasn't an engineering student. Imagine I was just some, I don't know, you know, I, I wasn't going to university at all. Imagine I was just some, some, some. You know, doing something else in my life that had no involvement with getting a degree up or you know a higher degree. Imagine I was just like a, doing whatever. Um, like, imagine I was just like that. I I will say I will say it would be so easy for me to say that, and then for for other people to think, oh well, you're only just saying that because you don't actually have a degree, so of course you're gonna take it all scam. I'm saying that as someone who actually is getting a degree, saying that getting a degree, or not necessarily just getting a degree, but but doing something just because it's seen as the oh, this is the successful way to go, successful path in life. Even though if you don't enjoy it, then I I can't agree with you to do it. You know what I mean? If you enjoy, if you enjoy, for example, doing music, I I'm not I'm music. I don't I you know I can I've tried playing the guitar. It's not my thing. You know what I mean? I know people love playing the guitar, and we're really good at it. Do it. Get it. go go on. Get a musical career. Fantastic. You know what I mean. People enjoy different things. People are good at different things, and it sucks that in a lot of ways, the way we are, in a lot of ways, we don't. I don't know. We don't allow for people to pour out everything they got into what they're they're good at, into what they're 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 happy to do, if that makes sense, right? I, I've noticed some really, how do I put it, 
I've noticed some people who were really, really bad in academics. Like they, they always got the worst grades, right? So you think, oh, that person must be, must, must be stupid, right? That they have no knowledge. But then you realize, like, you look deeper, and you look at the things they're interested in, interested in, right? You realize how good they are at the things they're interested. In. They, they know. It's not just about being good at it. It's about the knowledge they have of it. So clearly, these people aren't incapable of gaining knowledge, right? This person who's bad academically and gets horrible grades, clearly it's not that they can't learn or there's more to it than just they can't learn, or they, you know, they, 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 they're not able to get a lot of knowledge. That person, for example, knew how a certain industry worked so well for, I'm not gonna exp go into detail, but for that person was so good at it. He was, he knew things. I, I was just there, like, really? He knew how it worked from in, from inside, in depth. Like, he could write a whole essay on it. For real, easily. He could write multiple essays on it. He, he knew so much about what he was talking about. It was insane. You think, you think, oh, pff, he's getting. The bro, he's getting he's getting D's in in English class. All right, he sucks. You know what I mean? Nah, it's just because there's so I feel there's so much more to people than just how good they are at you know different school subjects. For sure, there's so much more, man. People should not be bound just by how good they are at school subject or or even just how athletic they are. If you're not very athletic. That, that, there's so much more. I mean, genuinely, in in there's there is so much, and there's not an equal. Uh, there's not an opportunity for people to be able to do anything they want, especially for the less fortunate people. You know what I mean? Um, and it doesn't help that a lot of people they have their parents that push onto them to do to go to do certain things to, to go certain ways. Um, you know what I mean? From from I'll know a lot of people from from the time they were children, their parents would go, ah, you're gonna become a doctor. You gotta become a doctor. Yeah, you're gonna become a doctor. You see the stereotype a lot, a lot. I mean, I'm not gonna say, but the stereotype about Asian people, about how you know Asian people. I've I've heard Asian people tell me, by the way. So I'm not the one causing the stereotype. I'm just saying. Asian people say, oh, my parents had. Ah, our parents, of course, they want us to become doctors. They want us to become geniuses. And instead of about how Asian people are really smart, which a lot of times they are, truthfully, they are. I've met a lot of really smart Asian people. I, I, stereotype or not, I don't know. But that I I, 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 I say this as a compliment to Asian people. They are smart individuals. A lot of them are. Maybe not all of them. So that's not stereotype, but a, a lot of them are. That's just the facts, okay? And whether that's as a result of, you know, the, the culture about, you know, that you need to be smart, or how, you know, how the, the, the you know, the, the stereotype about how Asian parents force their children to be, uh, you know, academically smart, even if that's not what they're really good at. Um, whatever it is, I think. But I, 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 I think, you know, that sort of mindset is what causes a lot of people to not be able to do what... They, it's causing them not to shine as a human being, I feel like. Not everyone in the world is good at schoolwork or, or academics. Not everyone in the world can do that. We need people who are good at different things. We need people who can make great music because great music is entertainment. In fact, me, who who's studying, I use great music as a motivation. To, it helps me study. I don't listen to music all, all the time when I study. It's only sometimes here and there. But it helps. And I pay for that service. So clearly the people who are making music, you know, they're helping me out in a way. They're helping us out. So it's not like... You know, I don't support them. For for example, I use music as an example, but there's so many other things, right? Athletes, right? Sports. These provide entertainment for people, right? People will put on the TV and watch a chess match, or watch a football match, or whatever it is. You know what I mean? It can be that, but it can be anything. There's so much. There's so much one can do, man. You know, if you wanna be a freaking yoga instructor, go ahead. Go ahead. If you like helping people out and you're good at yoga, do that. 
whatever it is you want to do, you know what I mean? If you want to be like, like, freaking Rosa in the visual novel, and, 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 you know, you're good at designing things, you know what I mean? Do that! You're good at, you're good with clothes, you're good at designing clothes, or you're good at, you know, sewing clothes. I mean, in my university, we actually have a whole, like, make section where you can go and make clothes, sew clothes, like, you'll get the materials and you can, you can actually do, you know, do stuff, you know what I mean, you get a, you even, they even have 3D printers, if you're a creative person, go, go do it, you know what I mean, forget that, that other stuff, you know what I mean, if you like designing things, do that, if you wanna freaking build a car, you know, work as a, as a mechanic or something like that, do that if that's what you're, you're good at. You know what I mean. You you feel like you're fit for that. Then do it. You know what I mean. We need people like that. We need people who can. We're good with cars. Who can fix cars or who can do trucks. Those people are necessary. They, everyone is necessary. Everyone, because everyone has is this. It's crazy to me, man. And the pressure that we they put on people to, to do. Oh, you gotta you gotta go get a, a degree. You gotta be really good at. You dude, dude. You gotta get great. Great grades, you know what I mean? You can't figure I don't know. I, I I think I think I think people are better than I don't know. I think people not everyone can just sit down and read a book. And read books and just gain knowledge just like that. You know what I mean? Not every not every learns the same way, not even does things the same way. And yeah. Why and if you think about it, why is Angie so good at English and Latin in the first place? And in Greek? It's because she loves the occult. That's the entire reason. A reason she challenged like that. You think it's a childish thing? But imagine how like she learns language from doing it. You know what I mean? It, it might sound childish, but it's genuine helpful experience. Several things. She learns English because a lot of occult knowledge is in English. Latin. A lot of occult things in Latin. Alright? People... It's crazy. It's crazy. I, I, I'm not even... I'm, it's insane. It's insane. You know what I mean? Um, I mean, for me, through reading this visual novel and watching a lot of anime, for example, I've learned how to say some Japanese words and phrases here and there. Alright? Now that's not anything to flex. Obviously, I cannot keep up a discussion. But, but just because I, I'm doing something that I enjoy, I'm learning something valuable in a way. In a way. It, it is valuable. Um, but, um... Yeah, uh... That's basically the point I was getting at. I was trying to get at is that, uh, um, you know, not everyone needs to be this super genius doctor. You know, not every child ever that has ever been born needs to be the next Einstein. Okay, not everyone needs to be smart or smart or anything like that. You know, oh, you, oh, dude, when you if, if you you gotta you gotta you gotta you know you gotta be athletic, you gotta be smart. You, you know, you gotta go uh, to university, get a get a master's degree and become a medical student and that's that, that's not the only thing we should be expecting of of uh, people basically is what I'm saying and that uh, 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 careers that are often looked down upon for being a uh, uh, lower class or whatever you want to say should not be looked down upon because some people genuinely enjoy, genuinely enjoy those careers and we need people in those careers all right so yeah uh, and and let people enjoy things, and you can people can learn things that are very valuable from doing things that they love doing, even if it's unexpected at first, right? I love doing maths, so of course immediately you you can direct it to oh okay I, okay I mean it's gonna. You know, I'm just gonna learn something valuable. Of course, I am. I am. I am. But then another kid, you know, other than me, just says, "I love, I love the occult. I love learning about magic." And you immediately, immediately go, "That's a useless skill. You don't need to learn the occult." But if, you, but then, but now you're seeing that, you know, Marius learns some valuable things. Too bad she died really young. 
but she's learned great, she's great English, great Latin, you know what I mean? Can can some can do Greek, I guess, right? So maybe she doesn't know much about world history. Maybe Angie's better, but that's fine. If Angie needs help translating Latin or English, there you go. You got Muddy up on your side. All right. Anyway, I'm gonna keep reading. I went through a long rant there, but it, it's just a, uh, it's just a, uh, yeah, something I've been keeping. Something, something that, that I think about pretty often, um, and something that I see a lot of times with, with people, um, with people looking down on others for doing the things that they want to do, rather than doing the things that a lot of the times people are pressured into doing. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. All right. Alright, I've already done my whole rant, but Maria is just proving my point here. Let's just keep reading. だから、テストでも何も役に立たない。確かにオカルトの知識はどうかと思うけど、英語なんかは成績に結びつくんじゃない。小学校1年生の時、国語のテストで。I was gonna pick up a gun in four squares and said to write its name in the four squares. What? Raifuru te kaitara batsdata. Raifuru? I got it marked one. What? What were you supposed to write? I'm 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 no elementary schooler, I don't know what you're supposed to write there. Japanese language test. Is this a Japanese Wordplay that I'm not getting here. A gun in four squares. Rising in four squares. I will ride furu. It fits. I don't know. What was the answer? Oh, it was supposed to be. Right, but because you, you translated it to, to English. That's crazy! Maria got told she was wrong because she was too smart. She was too smart for her own good. That's crazy. She was already learning katakana. At something that was above her grade. That's crazy. And she got marked one for it. That's crazy. And of course Maria's good at that because of her knowledge of the occult. That's crazy. That's crazy. This to me just shows how crazy school can be sometimes. That's crazy. Like, I know that's supposed to be the right answer, but man, that's crazy. Alright. Okay, don't look at it first grade. That's crazy! <laughs> you should have just been born in in, in the West somewhere. You, your knowledge of their cult would have been better there. <laughs> You're a Ghana Katakana. You, you, you should not have been bothered with all this. Yeah, it's also kind of interesting how you don't pick who you're born to and where you're born at all. You don't get to pick at all. Maria's born in Japan. She didn't get to pick to be born there. I didn't get to pick to not be born in Japan. No, I'm not saying that I want, that I would have liked to be born in Japan. I'm just saying that I didn't get to pick it. Nobody gets to pick anything uh, when they're born. Um, so, all right. Uh. Uh. そうしたらもっともっと素敵な魔法の友達がいっぱいいたかもね。うりゃ。うりゃ。うん。でも別に今は何も気にしてないよ。だって魔法はいっぱい使えるし、魔法のお友達もたくさんいる。That's true. What if you're born in another country and you weren't able to accomplish what you've accomplished so far, including dying at 9 years old? Maria, you are Sakta, you are a 
僕だけじゃないよ。サクスケもサクキチも動物の音楽隊も、あおあおシモダ君も、ウサギのサナエさんも、コブタのピゴー君も、他にもいっぱい。The toys that were also got for her. サクシケンのケ、that's what they're called. The animal band, サクキチ、シモダ the seal, サナエ the rabbit, ピグオ the pig, and plenty more. Isn't Sanai san? Isn't that the name of an, a really long anime that's got like 4,000 episodes and it's still airing or something? It's been airing since the 70s or something ridiculous like that.、Uh, 60s, maybe even. Incredible. o n e c h a n s friends just keep increasing in number. Every time I ask, the list of her friends' names grows, grows longer. But there's no doubt that Sakutaro is her best friend. I'm a little jealous of her for having such a close friend. Mamon could be that for you. Mamon is, is your close friend, Angie. No? 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 もっと私の原書の魔法を学んだならきっとエンジェの好みの友達を生み出せるようにもなるよ今のエンジェに想像はまだちょっと難しいね想像と召喚は違うそして半分もまた違うおおやっぱり一番の願いは家族をよみがえらせることうんよりしろは持ってるよこれそうだね。So then why does she need to win with Battler? Is, is Lambda fooling her? If she wins with Battler, she can then just. If she learns how to use whatever.、Um, if she learns how to use resurrection magic, she can bring her family back. She doesn't need to win with Battler. So no kami kazari nara, it's got to Battler or you'll be das kagi ni nari yo. And even if she does win the battle, she can still summon. I, I don't know what Lambda's trying to say to her. Well, too bad you're not the witch of certainty. You can't, you can't declare it with certainty. If Lando was here, and maybe she could have. そういう感情はハンマホーの毒素になるよ。夢は必ず叶うって気持ちが一番よく芽吹く魔力の種なんだよ。<笑>そうね。ごめんなさい、お師匠様。エンジ様は少し強欲さが足りないのよ。欲しいもののためにはどこまでも。手に入れるまで絶対に諦めないという根性が足りない。無理よ。そんなことないよ。エンジェは頑張ってるよ。ありがとう、サクタロウ、マモン。泣き言なんて何の足しにもならないもんね。私にはただ頑張るしか道はないのよ。努力するわ。歯を食いしばってね。そして必ず夢を叶えるわ。I want to see your grit your teeth. That if you get that reference, nice. 絶対に。ウリュウエンジェ偉いよ、頑張ろう。僕もママも応援する。I'll support her too. ええ、応援します。Even though I'm supposed to be denying magic. アルジが強力であればあるほど、私たちの価値も上がるというもの。それよりエンジェ様、せっかく十人も集まったんだし。So? みんなでしりとりでもして遊ぼうって提案がありました。Okay, Shiri Tori, what the hell is that? Tips section. Grimoire. 
Shiritori is a Japanese word game. Players take in turns to say words, and each word must begin with the last Japanese character of the previous word, forming a chain. Wait, each word must begin with the Jap last Japanese character of the previous word. Oh, okay. Only nouns are allowed. Ah, okay. And accidentally saying a word that ends with the character N, whatever that is, N, loses you the game. Because no Japanese word begins with N. I would like ninja. Oh. Oh, a word like ninja, for example, begins with ni, not n. Ah, I did not know that. Okay. Cool. No Japanese word ends with n. Cool. The exact rules for what is allowed and what exactly constitutes uh, the last character oft often vary and need clarification. Second go. Clarification. Ninja. Wait, is clarification a noun? Yeah, I see, it's a noun, right? Oh god, am I dumb? I don't, guys, 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 leave me be. Okay, clarification, ninja. Amsterdam? Does that, does that not work, no? Air. Air? R ring. Ring? Gong. Oh, that's another, uh, game. Uh... Yeah, uh, Enchanter? No, that's not a, Is that a word? I don't know. S. S. Uh, empty? Is that a noun? No, it's not a noun, is it? Isn't that like an. Oh. Uh, escape? Is that a noun? I don't know, but it ends with E, so there's no point! Uh, this is really hard. Effigy. Is that a noun? Effigy? Uh, why is a word beginning with E so hard to find? L L electricity? I guess? That's a noun? Is electricity a noun? <laughs> I'm so dumb! I'm so bad at this! Okay, let's just go electricity. Sure. Why? Why? We're in Y. What's a freaking noun that begins with Y? Uh. Yeah. I'm so bad at this. Wow, I would suck at this game if I played with other people. I've never played this this game that they're playing before, but I, I would suck at this. Why? Yeah. Yo yo. Yo yo. I have to find a word or something. Oh. Onion. Now we're going back to N again. Nose. <laughs> No, it ends with the E. That ends with E. I don't know how to find words to E. Uh, 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 e? E, E. What's a word that starts with E, y'all? I'm so bad with E. I swear there's no word. England. Is that, a, is that a noun? It's a country. God damn it. What? Uh, uh, S F F L L L N N L F. Let's go with England, goddammit. I don't care if it's a noun or not. It ends with D. What's the word that starts with D? I know. A B okay. Uh, door. That's it's so easy when it's not an E. R. Okay. R. Raisin. Okay. N again. N. Nostalgic. That's not a noun, is it? Neck! Neck, okay. Alright, uh, with these N words. Oh. Pause. Pause! I'm finding a lot of, uh, you know, body, uh, you know, names for the, for those, for that letter. Uh, K. What's the word that with K? A noun that with K. Ka California. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, wait, wait, wait. Ah, it's last one, last one, last one. K. What starts with K? K. 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 No, that's a verb, isn't it? Damn, kiss is a verb! Frick, dude! Kiss, kill. Kill! No, that's another verb! Kill is a verb, god damn it. K <laughs> kill and kiss. That's what I've come up with. Ko. Koj. Ko. Ki. Ka. Ke. Wow, there's no words that start with K, you freaking frick. Ka. Ka. Ki. Ka. Ke. Ko. Ke. Ka. Ko. Ke. Ke. Ko. Ka. Ka. Ko. Ka. Ka. Car with a K. There's no word that starts with K. I swear to God, that doesn't exist. There's no noun that starts with K. Key. Kind. Kind? That's not a noun, is it? Yeah, it's not. That's an adverb. No, is it an adverb? I'm an idiot, y'all. I'm sorry. I'm an idiot. Uh, here's the thing. I don't... Listen, I know the words better in Norwegian than I do in English. All right? Please leave me be. K freaking... Keep... Keep! Keep! That's a freaking verb, man! Cast. Casty. Casty. Cos. Cos. There's no verb that starts with K. I'm done. I give up, y'all. Let me know if there's a noun that starts with K. Let me know. I suck at this. I. I okay. Alright. Play Shi Chiri Tori together because you're 10. Alright, let's go. あんたの頭には食欲以外ないの?熊井どもの愚かな提案をお許しください。そろそろ勉強に戻られなくても大丈夫ですか?やだやだやだ。ずっと勉強あるの待ってたのに、遊んでもらえないなんてやだ。悪
Zoo! <laughs> I found my word! <laughs> Freak your Japanese! I found my English word, that's all I need. Zoo! Okay. I feel like everyone's just gonna talk over each other, but okay. Especially because there's 10 people about. There's the seven sisters plus two, three. Zucchini! Garlic stir fry. Mimiku itame. Mekaben pasta. Yo, she's just going! Hey, y'all, stop! Are you guys not gonna stop her? That's crazy, and it's just food. Zucchini, it's zucchini, it's all food. What are those? Translate to Norwegian. What's that? What's that? Guys, no, I'm not dumb. Just just translate what a conjunction is in Norwegian. I'll know what, what, what he means by can you use conjunctions. Uh, trust me, trust me. I, I just didn't learn what, what. I don't know what those mean in Norwegian, okay? Please. English. It's true. I guess conjunctions. Are that, is that what you mean by conjunctions? Like words like and, or, if. Is that what she means? Start over at me. Damn! Meringue. That, that's not a word that's not a gay. <laughs> I, I go gay. <laughs> Easy, right? Damn! Lucifer's destroyed the drainage system, reclaimed land, basement. Yeah, you keep going. She it ends at two. What's a word that that goes down from two? Basement? <laughs> Damage system? <laughs> I played normal Shiritori before, but this kind of weird Shiritori was a new experience for me. The Seven Sisters would be lively enough just on their own, Mario Nechan, Sakutaro, and me. I was now surrounded by my f by friends that were just so fun. The courage to accept a world of magic, a world of witches. That alone wouldn't change the fact that I was locked up in an academy without a single friend in my class. But I was having such a fun and merry time regardless. I'll become a witch like Maria Onechan. And someday, I'll add my family to this happy circle. I find this interesting because... Because... Angie was not too long ago talking about how Maria was, was miserable because, you know, Rosa left her and she's lonely. Even though Maris kept saying, no, I'm having fun with Sakutaro, I'm having fun with Sakutaro. F you know, from outside looking in, you could say the same thing about Angie. Nah, you're just, you're just, you're clearly just venting your frustrations with the seven stakes and Maria and stuff like that. Because you're lonely at the academy. You could say the exact same thing from another standpoint, from another truth. So, but it's now Angie's experiencing it herself, so. Mom, Dad, Oni-chan, please? Yeah, Oni-chan. I'll never get over her calling me Onichan. If possible, George Onichan. Oh, George Onichan and Jessica Onichan too. If you can, if you can resurrect them, go ahead. And my other relatives, except for Eva. <laughs> nah, I'll call everyone. Everyone here, without a single person missing, and we'll all, we'll all be gathered together. Even Eva? Are you just gonna? Well, oh, that's gonna be spicy though. If Eva and Angie ever meet again in a situation where everyone is gathered. Oh, it's gonna be spicy. それが私の夢。そうよ。私はそれを叶えるまで絶対にくじけない。エンディ様はきっと大魔女になられます。あなたがそうだと信じるだけで、我ら煉獄の七姉妹はその日まで常にお側にお使いするでしょう。
いてくれるいつまでも私の力になってくれる当然だって私エンジェ様の友達じゃないですか<笑>ええそうね常に全員揃ってみんなで遊びましょう今もこれからもずっとずっとエンジェ様が夢を叶えられる日まで The lively 10 person game of Shiri Tori cut off from time, time alongside the street under the forever bright warmth of the sun continued without end. Okie dokie. Ouch! Ouch! She's getting hurt. I think they're hitting her. I heard a patch and a pouch and a pa. I think they're hitting her. And that's where we're gonna end it. <laughs> so, yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this part of Ibineko when they cry. I've spent a lot of this time just babbling and ranting and talking and all that stuff. So, I'm sorry if I didn't make as much progress. But I hope you guys enjoyed anyway. I had fun. Um, I hope you guys had fun as well. Let's see why uh, the the students are, you know, hitting on Angie right now. I don't know what's going on. Maybe Angie was in her school, well, in the bushes behind her school all along. And what this entire game of Shiritori and all that was happening within this the book world. Well, it's the world she created while reading the book behind, you know, in her behind her school. So maybe everything we just saw was just while she was looking reading the book. The you know Maria's diary, and then she got transported. You know she created this 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 world in her head, like she did before, or maybe this is something else. I don't know. Like I said, the timeline is all confusing to me. I don't know when the whole Amakusa stuff happened, the whole Cosme stuff happened. I don't know when the how the timelines are connecting. So if you guys know, let me know. Uh, Saint Lucia still. Uh, I don't know where Rika or Satoko is at, or well, Rika, she's supposed to attend here, and, and Shion, I believe. Shion and Rika might be here, I don't know, or maybe she's in another, in a separate universe, in a separate realm of reality, they attended the school as well. But okay, I'm going to end this here, and uh, let's see what happens next time between these girls that are bullying Ish uh, Ishiyomiya san or, you know, Angie, and they're even violently bullying her too, you know, they're they're hitting her so violence is involved clearly violence is involved uh, let's hope angie can can come out okay yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this one i'll see you guys next time hope you guys enjoyed at least as much as enjoyed reading it and i'll uh, i'll catch you guys soon all right y'all peace